Hello everyone, welcome back to the seventh episode of Hearts of Iron 4, where we are defending the German Reich from the uh, push of the Allied Empires. Not really empires per se, but against the push of the Allies. The democratic nations of Europe. Why we're defending the Axis powers? Well, we really have no choice in the matter. We are... Largely not, we're not actually threatened by the, the allies in any way, shape, or form, surprisingly. Only the Axis share a border with them, but the Axis powers, specifically Germany, are literally on their, like, last legs. It looks like the Germans must be reinforcing Turkey as they look to be advancing there. But we are holding the line in Europe, or at least trying to. We're going to try to drive the Allies into the sea. We're not even allied to the Germans. We are literally just working with them. All we have is a right of passage through their territory, I believe. We have a... Yes, we have military access and since we're at war, we can fight in their territory. How that makes a whole lot of sense, I really don't know. But it does. Possibly. And we are allied to the great J Imperial Empire of Japan. Jeez, I don't know. Um, sure, let's go resistance suppression. We don't really need anything else, per se. It does look like the war is pretty much stalled out. Which is both good and bad at the same time. Does look like the Italian front there is some movement. But yeah, the Great War has pretty much stalled out. They can't break through our lines, I don't think, and we can't break through theirs. World War II has come to a stalemate. No, who would have expected that? Not I. Let's see if we can make a little push here towards Hanover. Alright, our line is moving. Alright, it looked like we successfully held the pocket here. The Reich should be getting a big population boost from Hanover in a second here. Alright, Reich, I am trying to help you. I hope you see it as such. If we can pull a Soviet Union against the Allies here in Europe, we have a chance. Now, in case any of you are wondering why we are helping the German Reich, it has a lot to do with the fact that uh, the Germans are a bigger threat to the Allies than the Western Pacific Sphere. So therefore, we are trying to get the Allies to predominantly focus on the Axis powers, which they have been doing very much. They... They seemingly have not been interested in me or Japan pretty much at all. Which is fine. I mean, Japan's just doing their own thing. They probably are just hoarding units along the Imperial, along the border with the Germans. And the Germans look like they're bordering me and Japan for some reason, instead of actually utilizing their troops more effectively, but Germany can do it at once. All right, we're going to continue to push here. Hopefully we can uh, encircle some allied troops. I mean, it does look like the Germans are uh, they're uh, rebuilding their military industrial complex a little bit. That is good for them. They 
They were hurting there for a while. I mean, geez, they still have like six and a half million casualties in this war so far. That is astronomically high. But they held on like I was hoping they did. Nationalist Spain has crumbled. The Axis powers are ever weaker. Yugoslavia's marching around. We're trying to hold the line here. We're not trying to rewrite history, but... Actually, we are trying to rewrite history. We need to get the Germans some more population. That's what we're trying to do, at least. Alright, we're pushing the line forward every day. Man, Italy is just so bad. Could I use German airports? No, because they're not allied to me. That's okay. Alright, let's, let's pressure the pocket here. Can redistribute some troops around a little bit better then. Now let's pressure the pocket here, guys. If we can re knock France out of the war, it would be great. France doesn't need to be in this war. They they were dead years ago. Alright, we're holding. Is there no one there? On that airport? That's surprising. Very surprising. I mean, yeah, the allies are not threatening in any way, shape, or form. I really don't know if there's uh, much of a reason to continue the series. We seem to have largely stalled out here. We'll keep going for a little bit, see if we can uh, win and... Not necessarily win, but... Uh, get a stalemate in uh, Europe. Because if we can get a stalemate in Europe, I don't think the game will actually be physically possible to end. Well, we got the Americans cut off at Rostock there. They have naval superiority, so we won't be able to pressure them too hard. No, I don't think that... How many divisions do they have stuck there? That's a lot. Well, Rostock looks like it will largely just be surrounded. There's not much we can do there. Italy is falling back. The Americans just don't seem too interested in, uh... They don't seem very interested in attacking. I think they're redeploying all their troops out of uh, Spain now, is what I think's happening. Italy, you have to survive. Germany, you can't run out of gas yet. We just we need to get the Americans out of here. The division templates, I think, are just a little too good. Yeah, we're not going to be able to beat the Americans. They're just too strong. Oh, 
Well, there we go. We Aha! Good job, Germany. Yeah, kill some Americans there. That'll work. No, I think the series, we've accomplished what we set out to do here. There's not much else we can do, I believe. I think we've accomplished our goals. Oh, that's nice. The Germans can't even successfully defend themselves because they have so many troops stationed against me. Come on, Germany, get with the program. Don't you care more about your own empire? You would think you would. But this is Hearts of Iron, so the AI does stupid things. Very stupid things. I mean, yeah, we could throw every th all our manpower at the uh, allies, but is that really smart? Not really. It's not very smart, and I don't know what benefit we'd actually get out of it. And really, we're not even helping a person we're allied to. We're helping the German Reich. A country we are not in an alliance with. So I don't know what our incentive to help them is. There isn't one. If we take Hamburg, is it not being defended? Come on, take Hamburg. Take the Hamburglar. I mean, the war largely seems to have stalled out. It's like World War, I don't know, 1.5? I mean, Amer the Americans obviously are pretty strong. German Reich, 6.67 million in casualties. The Kiwi Empire has collapsed. That must be New Zealand. I mean, yeah, the United States has tons of manpower, but I think uh, France and the United Kingdom are starting to get burned out a little bit. France is on all adult serve. The United Kingdom is on service by requirement. Germany's probably on all adult serve. They're still on service by requirement. Amazingly. I don't know how they're managing to pull that off. No, but I think we are pretty much done here. Uh, it was a l very interesting to play as the Western Pacific Sphere. Looks like we actually might retake Frankfurt for the Germans. We did. You're welcome, Germany. I mean, Germany... They'll be alright. The, the, war, the war is gonna stall out, but... Are we actually winning against American forces in Stettin? We are. That is amazing. They must have some bad supply. Why are we winning this way? Yeah, they got bad supply. Oh, they're encircled. I forget how good that encirclement penalty is. For the other faction. I mean, there's no point to push here. It's all land forts. I don't know. The, uh... Imp not the Imperial Empire of Japan. The uh, Western Pacific Sphere, the Axis powers and the Allies will probably all coexist in some sort of weird, uh, war faction thing going on for, like, the next 50 years. It's gonna end up like the book 1984. Most likely. Nah, we just we just can't crack the Americans at Rostock, unfortunately. But the war seems to have largely fizzled out. Nothing exciting is gonna happen. 
mean, I think Japan has pretty much naval dominance. Not really, actually. How many ships does Japan have? They have... 81. The United States has, like, twice that many. But I also have some ships, too. I have 73. Amazing that I have as many ships as Japan, but there's, they must be using theirs to attack the Americans. Yeah, the Americans will probably win that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone nuked Turkey. That is going to be a game changer. Turkey got nuked. Wow. It happens. Is that going to change the war? No. The war is going to stay stalled. Alright guys, this series has been fun. But uh, I think we have uh, unfortunately reached a impasse with the Allies. Or I just don't think we are going to be able to... Uh... Yeah, they have like 40 divisions st stacked in Rostock. There's no way we're going we're gonna to be able to push that out. Yeah, the Allied armies are probably larger, but the combined forces of the Western Pacific Sphere and the Axis powers, at least what remains. I'm going to have to get a containment here in uh, Southeast Asia. I don't like how the Allies are trying to push into India there. Hopefully Japan can have my back a little bit. But I think that we are pretty much stalled out in the war, like I've been saying most of the episode. So, it's been fun. If you guys have a different country you want me to play as, let me know in the comments. We can definitely arrange that. I mean, yeah, we could probably slowly advance against the Allies in Europe. It's, it's not going to be pretty. Like, we might win this little... Yeah, we're going to win a little bit of land there in Germany. Is it going to change anything? No. The war is not going to change one bit. Can we take Hamburg? Maybe. Is it going to change anything? No. It'll give the Germans some more victory points, but it's not going to change anything in the war. Nothing important, anyway. Yeah, we can't even hold Hamburg. We can just attempt holding it. Well, guys, it's been a pleasure. I hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.